السلام علیکم گائز دس از می شاہیا مبارک آن مائی چینل ویل یو کے ہیز کاٹ علام لیم ایسکیوز اور شوٹ سے ا ریزن ٹو کیپ آن کنٹینیوئنگ دی آرم سیلس ٹو اسرائیل ایز دیئر اٹارنی جنرل رچرڈ ہارمر ہو وین واز میڈ اور اپوائنٹ ٹو دی پلیس دیر واز لاٹ آف ہیو اینڈ ٹرائی اینڈ لاٹ آف پیپل واز سینگ دیٹ دس از دی رائٹ مین ٹو پٹ اور کیپ کے ایس چامر اینڈ ہز گورمنٹ ان ٹو دی لائن جورنگ دس آن گوئنگ کانفلیکٹ آف پیلسٹائن اینڈ اسرائیل اور سمپلی دی اسرائیل جینوسائڈل وار آف غزہ بٹ ریسنٹلی ایڈوائزری اور اپینین شیئرڈ بائی ریچرڈ ہارمر ٹو ہز گورمنٹ دیٹ دے نیڈ ٹو میک اے ڈسٹنگشن اباؤٹ دی ویپنس دیٹ دے آر سپلائنگ to the state of Israel or IDF who is using these American made weapons, these British made weapons, these European made bombs, weapons, planes on the innocent civilians of Gaza as the death toll surpasses 40,476 people out of which 17,000 of them are children. And these deaths are by the weapons made in America in Great Britain, in Europe, and used by the IDF. And they have killed innocent civilians in the garb of finishing Hamas. The advisory given by Richard Harmer to the British government says that they need to make a distinction that the arms that they are supplying, that are they in the nature of offensive arms or defensive arms? This is a stupid sort of uh, distinction that he made that it is up to the Foreign Office of Britain, David Lammy's department, to decide the fact that the arms that they are supplying to Great Britain, uh, to Israel since last, since uh, the uh, last 7th of October 2023, as Israel, as Britain and America has pledged that they will do and defend Israel on whatever cost. distinction or it will be assessed by David Lammy and his foreign office lackeys who are already on the side of Israel as it evident because he has not shared the legal advice which he when he was the shadow uh, foreign secretary asked David Cameron again and again to share the legal advice given by British lawyers or the British legal team to its government about the their complicity in the genocide or the war crimes that Israel has been committing in Gaza. Now, it's in the hands of David Lamy, who is, uh, as his past record shows, that have taken money from labor friends of Israel. He has been to Israel in his less than two months ministerial uh, term, foreign term, uh, foreign ministerial term. He has been to Middle East twice and have not... able to achieve ceasefire and his last visit where Benjamin Netanyahu didn't met him in person. He didn't show the courtesy to meet a black foreign minister of Britain, Benjamin Netanyahu. Now he is to decide that the arms that they are exporting to Israel, are they of the nature of offensive or defensive? Arms in whatever shape they are, They are offensive because arms or weapons manufactured or produced to eliminate the threat to individual or to the group of people or to the state or organization. A gunman or a security officer or security guard on the premises of your house, of your uh, apartment building, of your workplace or you kept it as a security with yourself. It is for not only defensive reason, for, for the offensive reason that if someone attacks or tries to attack the place where you live or you work, the gunman or the armed person who you have hired is going to save you by shooting those who are trying to shoot you or the place you work or live. So I don't know how will uh, Mr. David Lamy is going to make that 
uh, strange distinction of offensive and defensive. But for the sake of an argument, if we look at the opponents of Israel or Israel against whom they have waged the war, Hamas, they are not equal opponents. If they have, if they were equal opponents, as I have earlier mentioned, a lot of time. There would have been a lot of casualties in Israel, but only 1,200 people died, and they died on 7th October, which was bad. It shouldn't have happened like that. But it is also important to mention that fact that around 400 people were killed by IDF because they do not want these people were taken alive as, as hostages to Gaza. So Hamas do not have helicopters. Hamas do not have tanks, Hamas do not have jet fighters. So the many bombs and many weapons that America and Great Britain so rigorously and vigorously supplying Israel since last 11 months now almost, they are the nature of offensive. But the distinction made by Richard Harmer or the uh, way I found out by Richard Harmer is not surprising for me. He is a Jew. So he would side with Jews or with the Zionist Jews, although that he opposed Zionism as he uh, requisite or presents himself. But I personally feel that I'm disappointed with his decision because it gave the leeway to the Shamar government or the David Lammy led foreign office to say that it is difficult to distinct between the offensive and defensive. It is wrong, but as these things are worked in Britain. Also, Mr. K.S. Chalmer addressed the nation as uh, he said that tough times are ahead of us, or tough on term are ahead of us as Britain is uh, beginning their new parliamentary session in coming September, on, I think on 1st of September they will start their parliamentary session. And then in October, they will have their budget, annual budget. And uh, there is no surprise that uh, more tax will be going to uh, going to be imposed on the public. More uh, cuts will be made on the benefits that British government is giving to their citizens. And the cost of living is already out of hand in Britain, especially the housing crisis. And uh, the children poverty in Britain is on rise. And also, I think uh, he will going to make sure that uh, uh, people who do not do anything or who are uh, taking benefits from government is not going to get it free now. It is my view. And also, I think they will start uh, deporting people, especially those who are staying in their countries from last 10 to 20 years now and those who are on political asylum. I particularly feel that uh, he will going to do something about them. And also, I think he needs to see that uh, he said that there is 20 billion pounds black hole or 22 billion pound black hole in the British economy. I think he can reduce it to 19 billion pounds if he start cutting the aid that uh, he promises to Vladimir, uh, Vladimir, Vladimir Zelensky on his first visit to Europe, where he said that he promises Ukraine that they will get three billion pounds every year till Ukraine requires so he can get three billion dollars three billion pounds from there it's 19 billion pounds black hole that he needs to fill up I think he also needs to stop uh, doing that uh, crony capitalism and the nepotism that he's been doing that uh, providing jobs to their aides in Labour Party giving them free passes to the 10 Downing Street and taking money from the wealthy businessmen and then let them have their way. He didn't do anything to change or uplift the common people's problem in these last uh, uh, two months or so. It's not been two, fully two months, but uh, in the last two months or so, he hasn't able to achieve to do good for the common British or the common people who live in London. So the tough times are ahead for the people of Great Britain. Also, New York University has updated their student guidelines where they have given the protection to the Zionist or the Zionism. Whoever criticizes 
Zionism or Zionist is going to be banned from college campus, uh, banned from the university campus, and he will not be allowed to take part in the academics. And by way of doing this, by putting Zionism in the special category of protected or in the protection category, they have made sure that there is no more protest against the Israel's genocidal war on Gaza and they have made sure that uh, nobody or no voice of dissent stays in New York University. It says a lot. It says a lot that these universities who we in our uh, countries, in underdeveloped countries, in third world countries, we say that these universities are light in these dark times, but now these universities administration are going down to the Zionist agenda and to the Zionist uh, sympathizers as they protect the Zionism and Zionists in their college campuses, in their campuses, and making sure that there is no dissent, there is no people talking about the Palestinian lives, about the student Palestinian, uh, student um, uh, solidarity, uh, student Palestinian protest which happened across the American university and colleges, college campuses, they would not happen again. This is shameful. This is what can someone say that if you do not allow dissent and you expect someone else to listen to you, then you are living in dream or denial. Take care.